I need a bitch that rock Louis V like me My talent times two like I'm Siamese Put money in my pocket till it rip my jeans I'm cold ice cream, I told my team Ain't nobody fucking with us, that's all Hey, what's up guys, Odar here And today we're going to be continuing the sort of, I guess, mini-series you call it Uh, it's, uh, how to activate Windows 8.1 and uh, I know you guys have been, pr uh, some of my subscribers on, like subscribed to me from my Windows 7 and Windows 8 activation videos. So uh, this is for you guys and anyone else who wants to watch it. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get Windows 8.1. Uh, didn't really see the point in updating. And uh, anyways, it didn't show up in the store for me. I was one of those people that didn't show up for a while. But anyways, I finally got updated to Windows 8.1 after I reset my computer. It finally appeared in the store. And, uh, yeah, so I downloaded it. I thought I'd show you guys how to activate it because uh, I deactivated my Windows 8 installation whenever I installed it. But, anyway. Uh, obviously, this pesky, whatever you want to call it, the watermark on the desktop is back in Windows 8.1. Due to the fact that uh, it's just, <laughs> like, they just deactivate it for some reason. I guess Windows 8 activation doesn't work anymore for Windows 8.1. Anyway. So, uh, by the way, I wanted to say sorry for not making a video in a while. I haven't really found any inspiration, I guess you could call it, to make any uh, new content. It's not that I don't want to upload video for you, videos for you guys. I do. Trust me, I really do. But I'm trying to find something that I can do that's original, that's uh, more, more or less uh, something that nobody does, like unique. Uh, so I'm not just, I guess, like, because I guess some people complain to me sometimes that I'm doing stuff that other YouTubers are doing. I get some PMs about it and stuff like that. But um, I, I just want to find something that I can do that's original and something that you guys will genuinely enjoy and not something you've seen a thousand times. But anyway, uh, on to the next topic. I have recently learned, as you can see, I have XSplit Broadcaster installed. I can stream, I figured out. <laughs> I've never really attempted streaming before because I thought my upload wasn't good enough for it, but apparently it's more than good enough. So I'll be streaming on Twitch. I'll be streaming Minecraft uh, and a bunch of other variety of stuff and maybe some GFX and stuff like that. And also I'll see if I can get my recording working again for my Xbox because I haven't recorded in a long time. If I can get my recording working for my Xbox again, I'll um, start uploading. Maybe I'll stream some GBs for you guys, some competitive gameplay, uh, scrims with my team and stuff like that. Uh, also, if you want to see our team, I'll leave a link to them. I'll leave a link to our team channel in the description below. Uh, the channel is called D2K Comp. Um, again, I'll leave a dis link in the description if you want to go check it out. Maybe subscribe. Um, yeah. So anyway, on with the video. Uh, we're going to be getting rid of with this and activating Windows. As you can see, if I go to System, uh, I have the Windows 8.1 with Media Center. And uh, the this product key is fake. Obviously, it looks fake, and so, I mean, don't bother putting it in. It's a fake product key. But anyway, Windows, it says Windows is not activating. Read the Microsoft license terms, whatever. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to get that uh, to say Windows is activated and this to say, or this to go away completely. So this right here is what we're going to be downloading. It is uh, by Halloween Psycho. He is a very reliable source for anything to do with Windows. Uh... Windows 8.1 ISOs, Windows 8 ISOs, like the install. So, again, very legit source for anything. And, yeah. Uh, he has Windows 8.1 Pro and Windows 8.1 Windows Media Center serials right here. So, I mean, if you guys need a serial to install Windows 8.1, a serial to install Windows uh, 8.1 Windows Media Center, uh, you can do that just by downloading this, and then if you're wanting to install, uh, if you're wanting to install it, I'll leave. Uh, I, I won't leave a link. It's pretty straightforward. You just go to Control Panel, and I think it says something like Add. Uh, I think it's something like Add Features to Windows. Oh, oh, hold, hold on. <laughs> My bad. I forgot that there's this. It's Add Features to Windows. I know that. Uh, I'm not sure why he's doing that. 
Oh, sorry, I haven't really uh, turned Windows features on and off, and I think from here, no. Uh, whatever. Uh, you know, you get the idea. Just look up the link for... Uh, you know what? Forget it. I'll just put a link in the description. I'm sorry, I just wasted a bunch of time. I'll just leave a link to this in the description to a tutorial on how to add uh, Windows Media Center to it. It's not very hard. So, yeah. Um, this right here is what we're going to be downloading, like I said before. The KMS and Windows, uh, Windows and Office Activator. Uh, this activates Office 2010 and Office 2013 as well if you guys are looking for it. This also activates Windows 8 and 8.1, obviously. So uh, the people that are using uTorrent are just going to click Get This Torrent, click Launch Application, and uh, I already have it downloaded, so it's coming up with this. I'm not going to do that because obviously I already have it downloaded. But the, for you for you people that don't want to download torrents or for whatever reason or you just don't like using torrents, I will uh, upload it to upload the file to Mediafire as a RAR, and I'll just uh, leave a link to the Mediafire in the description. So uh, people that don't like torrents, there will be a download for you as well. Once you have that downloaded, it's only a few megabytes; shouldn't take long. Uh, you're going to if you're downloading it from MediaFire, just unrar it with WinRAR, uh, 7-zip, or whatever program you use. Um, you're going to get these two files. You obviously won't need the README file if you're watching this, but uh, you're going to need this file right here. You're going to right-click it and run as administrator. It's always useful when doing that to tools. It helps uh, count out a lot of troubleshooting issues. Uh, also, if you need help with this, just PM me, at, uh, PM me on YouTube and I'll help you out. But uh, we're going to click next. I accept. Next. 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 We're going to let this install real fast. Doesn't take very long to install. Watch as I say that. It takes 10 years. All right. There we go. So now I seriously have no idea. I genuinely do not know where it places it. So, I mean, what I do to find it is I just, I have, uh, go to my computer or wherever you have that is, uh, just go here, <laughs> just open, uh, a new, uh, I almost wanted to say finder, a new, whatever, a, n <laughs> a new browsing window, there you go. Alright, we're gonna click this PC, go to wherever your program files are, are located, mine's in the C drive, program files, and we're going to be going to KM Spiso or sp Spico. Oh my god, I'm having a terrible time. Alright, so uh, go right there. You're going to just double click on that, and then this is the program that you need to open right here. KM Seldy. Just open it up. It'll ask you for... Autom Diagnostic complete. Sensors are functioning normally. Sorry about that. It makes those noises whenever you start up the program. It also makes more noises whenever you're activating it and whenever it closes. Anyway, it's going to be asking for administrator. Obviously, just allow it. If you don't have administrator, I'm sorry. This tutorial isn't for you. You're more than, but I mean, if you're watching this tutorial, you more than likely have administrator. So I don't know why I even explain that. Anyway, you're going to just click this red button. It will automatically detect what version of Windows you're running. And yeah, so I'm, I like I said, it makes more noises as you're activating. So I'm just going to be quiet, and I'll talk to you guys after it's done and uh, activating. It only takes a few seconds. Program complete. All right. So once you have that done, it will automatically close. I, as you can see, it doesn't take very long at all. Now, as you can see, the watermark on the desktop is gone. And if I head over to System Properties, you'll see Windows is activated and it's still the same product key as before. I didn't change anything. It just activates it. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, that's how you activate Windows 8.1. Like I said, I'll be streaming soon on Twitch. If you guys want to check it out, uh, I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the description below. If you want to follow me, go ahead. That'd be very much appreciated. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.